the plan of Shaytan, all of his plans entail creating an insecurity and then selling you something that's haram to deal with that insecurity. Let's take, for example, the two specific things that Shaytan actually mentions in his tantrum as he's talking about how he's going to lead us astray. He says that as a result of me coming to them from in front of them, from behind them, from their right, from their left, what are they going to do? He says, That as a result of my da'wah to them, they are going to cut the ear of a cow. And then I will command them, And they will change the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So all of a sudden we're hearing about cow's ears and we're hearing about the changing of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What does that even mean? And why is shaitan bringing these two things up as like these primary things? Because if you're reading these ayat, you're thinking he's going to talk about murder and he's going to talk about adultery and he's going to talk about these types of things. But let's go back to that equation that we mentioned. Shaitan tries to create insecurities. Now these two things, first and foremost, cutting the ear of the cow. What's being referred to here is a good luck charm or superstitions, horoscope. People wear rabbit ears or some type of tooth or whatever it may be, right? Something that belongs to an animal or some sort of good luck charm. Or people actually start to believe that if this person is at my game and if this person's wearing this color jersey, then we're gonna win the game. <laughs> then, you know, everything's gonna be okay. People start putting their beliefs in these silly things. And they seem very silly, fortune cookies, right? Although I don't remember the last time I met someone who actually believed in a fortune cookie, but they must be out there, right? But people start believing in these little things and they start believing that those things actually can affect their outcome in life. Now, what is the insecurity? The insecurity here is that you're not sure that Allah is really in control. That's the ultimate insecurity. You are questioning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's control and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's authority and Allah's power. Now, what does shaitan do? He tries to make you resort to superstition, good luck charms, right? These little things, wear this and it's going to save you. Instead of doing what the Prophet ﷺ said, you see these blue eyes that are hanging on everyone's cars and not actual blue eyes. No, I don't think anyone actually hangs blue eyes, but those little things that have the blue eye there and this relic is supposed to protect your house from envy and protect it from the evil eye. And if you wear it, then it's going to protect you and so on and so forth. You start resorting to all of these things that are haram. Because you have this insecurity about the control and the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly controls your future and your outcomes. So that's a major insecurity. And the second one, that they will change the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the ways that you can clearly identify insecurity in a person is when they start to alter themselves. When they start to go through cosmetic surgeries, when they start to, not for any need or necessity, but they start to change the way that they look. And unfortunately, that's something that's praised in the society. Right, A person goes under under the knife for, for 16, 20, 24 hours to change something about themselves and that's praised. But the problem is, is that what we're not addressing is the insecurity. The insecurity, I don't like the way Allah created me. I'm not satisfied with the way that God created me. I'm not confident with what God has given to me. And so shaitan creates the insecurity. Then shaitan says, well, try to change it in an impermissible way. Here's how you can start altering yourself. Here's how you can start changing yourself to look better. So you're not pursuing the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're pursuing the sight of people and you're pursuing the sight of people in all of the wrong ways. You're pursuing the sight of people in ways that are degrading to you and degrading to the purpose that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to you.